painting tutorials, step-by-step -step guides, color scheme advice, army painting techniques, speed painting techniques, everything else in between. This is just a small window of the content that is available on YouTube, on Patreon, on Instagram, on all these places. Is it useful? Let's talk about it. Hi guys, it's Josh at The Pickle Jar and today I want to talk about how to become a better miniature painter by using things like YouTube tutorials. Now, I make YouTube videos, I have made tutorials in the past, I make step-by-step -step guides and I try and encourage people to try different things, which is what a lot of people do. Recently I watched a video by Ninjon, no, not Slop Chop. I watched the one where he was painting the League of Vertan miniature and something that he did in that video got me really excited. It was just a little thing, he started off by up spraying through the airbrush one colour, a zenithal of another colour and then a directional zenithal of a third colour to put down his base coats on the model. Now whilst he then carried on using those colours and blending them in and covered up a lot of that base coat, I saw that and I thought that is a really good opportunity to do something pretty cool. Now I had recently started painting this miniature on a live stream and I wasn't completely sold on the colour scheme that I was going for and after watching this video I just had to give it a go. Now this miniature was actually a nice welcome break for me away from the bigger project that I'd been working on for a while, more on that in the next video. So let's dive on in and get started. Now, as I mentioned, I had already started working on the miniature that I'm going to paint in, in today's video. I started on a live stream, it was a colour scheme that I thought would look cool, and I actually just was really underwhelmed by how it was looking. So I reprimed it white, which is the same as uh, John did in the video that I mentioned earlier on, and then I picked out three colours that I thought would be really cool for sort of a weird like synth wave, like Miami sunset kind of paint scheme. and try something a little bit different and a little bit new. Now I've been using my airbrush for quite a while now and I've tried a few different things but the majority of the time I tend to prime in black and then give a zenithal of a grey and then maybe a white or maybe I'll go straight to white. I don't really play around too much with applying different colours as the, as the zenithals whether that's from below for the shadows or whether it's from above for the highlights and the sort of lighting colours. It's something that I've kind of wanted to have a go at for a while, using different colours as your base tones rather than just a straight black prime or even a zenithal. This is far more interesting and it adds far more character and it ends up creating a piece that really pops. Now as I said, this is something that I've wanted to have a go at for a while but never have done and it's not until seeing this video that I've finally decided to dive on in and try it out for myself. And that I think is where we get the most value from things like YouTube videos, tutorials, things on Instagram. It is the sort of inspiration to try something rather than the technicalities of how to do it. Now, yes, in this example, I was shown how to achieve this look by using the three different colors but I'd seen it before and never tried it. And that was kind of what I wanted to talk about in this video. Rather than the technique itself, which is demonstrated far better by John in his video, which I will link down in the description and in the top corner, I wanted to talk about the sort of way that we use tutorials and the way that we use things that we see on social media such as YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and all these places and how we can apply that to our own painting. Now when someone says a painting tutorial, oftentimes what people think of is a step-by-step, -step, do this, then do this, and then do this. Rather than sort of a generalistic, this is a technique or this is an idea that you can then take and twist and apply to your own paint jobs. The latter, I think, is far more valuable to help you grow as a miniature painter rather than someone holding your hand and saying, right, now this colour, then use this colour, then use this colour. Giving you the tools to make those decisions by yourself and just showing you options of you could do this or you can do that or here's a cool thing that I did and giving you inspiration to try new things and try different things 
I think that's far more valuable than a step-by-step paint-by-numbers guide. It's something that I try and reflect in my own painting tutorials is when I refer to a colour I will say dark green or light blue rather than a specific paint brand or paint name because people get too tied up in very specific things when it comes to tutorials and it's more about the technique and the overall effect. If you've got a dark green that is Vallejo rather than a Citadel paint or if you're using Army Painter, it doesn't matter as long as it's a similar colour you're going to get a similar effect. I guess the main point that I'm trying to get across with this video is that when you're watching tutorial videos on YouTube, when you're scrolling through Instagram, looking at Reels, looking at TikTok, looking at whatever, don't get too caught up in the details. Yes, it's handy if you want to paint that exact model in that exact way and you want it to look as close to what you're being shown as possible, then yeah, it's handy. But if you're just generally wanting to try and improve and try new things, then just use things as inspiration rather than a paint by numbers guide. What do you guys think to using YouTube videos as more of an inspirational source rather than a direct step by step? Now I'm not saying that step by step tutorials and guides aren't without their uses, they obviously are, and they can be really, really helpful. But I think to grow as a miniature painter and to experiment with new techniques and new styles and take inspiration from what other people do and put your own twist on it, that is far more helpful than following a colour by numbers, essentially. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave us a like and subscribe if you're brand new. If you want to help support the channel, please check out the Patreon account linked down below. By joining that, you'll get cool things like your names shown off on videos like this. You'll also get access to the VIP room over on Discord, as well as bonus content available only to my patrons. Massive thank you to everyone supporting us that way already. You guys are absolutely awesome. If that's not your style, then there are also our affiliate links down below if you want to pick up any hobby products whilst also supporting the channel. But that's going to do it from me. I'll catch you in the next one. And until then, enjoy your hobby.